Do you want custom art for your Steam Deck games and you don't want to use desktop mode? There's an official plugin for that called the Steam Grid DB plugin, allowing you to change art for your Steam games directly within game mode itself. To get started, you'll need to install Decky. It's as easy as downloading the installer and then allowing it to do its own thing. If you've set an admin password, you'll need to put it in. Otherwise, if you don't have one, Decky will temporarily set one up and then install and then remove the password. Now that you've installed Decky, I highly suggest restarting your entire Steam Deck. Now that you're back in game mode, it's time to install the plugin. You can access Decky and all of its plugins and the plugin store using the quick access menu. You can download whatever plugins you'd like, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be focusing on Steam Grid DB, which is all the way at the bottom. Click install and it'll install the newest version of the plugin. And you're set. But before we show you how to use it, let's talk about what Steam Grid DB is. Steam Grid DB is a website where users can share their own custom assets for use with Steam itself. Steam Grid DB not only hosts assets for Steam games, but also hosts assets for games that aren't even on Steam, like freeware games or fan games, or games that are on other storefronts like Epic or Battle.net, and of course, titles that aren't even on PC, like emulated titles. If a game doesn't exist on Steam Grid DB, you can always send a request quest to have a game added to the database. Typically, you would have to download the assets and add them through Steam manually, but this plugin makes it so easy, you don't even have to do that. To get started, you'll want to highlight a game and press start, then go to change artwork and you'll be taken to this brand new page. All the art assets are separated by what type of asset they are. Here's a quick explanation. Capsules are your vertical artworks, wide capsules are your horizontal artworks. This is the logo for your game, and the hero is this background artwork that the logo is overlaid on top of. Typically the hero won't be this big, but I do have a Steam Deck theme installed so that's why it's so big here. You can also change the game's icon as well, but I believe that's more for desktop mode than anything, really. You can scroll through each of these categories by pressing L1 and R1, and you can see there is a wide variety of assets for Apex Legends. So let's actually get started. To change artwork for a selected category, highlight whatever image you want to use, and then press A. Steam Grid DB will automatically change your game's artwork. And you know, I'm sure this goes without saying, but you will need internet functionality to get this working. You could potentially make your own if interested. And some of them are pretty cool, and some of them are really funny. Like this alternative Apex Legends logo right here. Now here's a note about icons. Icons won't apply until you restart your Steam Deck. And would you look at that? Voila! Artwork. I'm really digging this artwork. Also, changing up the things not only affects the game's page itself, but also affects other parts where these assets may show up. For example, let's update Apex Legends. As you can see here, all of this new artwork shows up in the download page. Pretty cool, huh? But maybe you don't like all of this artwork. Maybe you're a fickle-minded, or maybe you're a purist. To remove the artwork, go to the Manage page, select whatever artwork you want to remove. You'll then want to press the trash can icon, and then the artwork will revert back to normal. Repeat this for all assets you want removed. As you can see here, I'm just going to go through and delete everything I just downloaded. And now everything is back to normal. So yeah, it works for Steam games. But I'm more curious about non-Steam games. How does it work there? This is Hollow Cure, a fan game you can download for free on itch.io. It's like Vampire Survivors, but anime. If you named your shortcut properly, the plugin will automatically find what game is the most appropriate. In this case, this is perfect. Of all the Hollow Livers I'm aware of, the only one I know that has a Steam Deck for sure is Ina, so I'm gonna pick her. We'll just say she's our Steam Deck VTuber rep. After shopping a bit for some artwork, you can see that now everything's changed instantaneously. Would you look at that? Fresh new art. At the very top is a slider menu. This allows you to adjust the size of the images you're looking at. It's not that useful in my opinion, but it's still pretty cool. But let's say you play a game with too much artwork, like Cyberpunk 2077. You have a pretty wide selection of filtering options. You can choose dimensions for the artwork. In this case, I would leave it as default. You also have access to filtering out file types, as well as your image style, such as no logo or white logo or blurred or minimalistic. You can also filter out animated images or static images. You can also filter out specific tags as well, such as adult content, humor, any artwork that could cause epilepsy. You have access to this filter on all art types, not just capsules. So let's say we only want to see animated images. If you turn off static, then you'll see 
every image is animated. And yes, if you select one of these images, the respective artwork will show up animated as well. Pretty cool, huh? Just be sure not to set too many of these images as animated because guess what? It'll lag the user interface if you have too many animated images. So just don't go overboard, okay? Aside from pulling images from the Steam Grid DB website, you can also use your own local assets that you may have downloaded directly on your Steam Deck. To do this, you'll want to navigate to the Manage section. Select the artwork piece you want to replace. Click on the folder icon. You can now navigate your internal files. You can browse basically whatever folder you'd like. In my case though, I like to organize my Steam Grids in the Pictures folder. I give each icon its own folder, and then I just name all of them accordingly. As you can see here, I put all of the assets in this one folder. Just select whatever appropriate asset you want, and voila! There it is. There is one issue I have though. If you're doing this for multiple different games, or perhaps just multiple different assets, you'll start in the base home directory all the time. Which can get kind of annoying given that, you know, I like to organize my Steam grids. But then again, I'm not sure if this can be made more intuitive for the average user. Aside from that though, this plugin is practically perfect. If you like high-tech lowlife, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. Check us out.